Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're here. I'm doing this a second time now because I had my glasses on the first time and turns out it reflects everything. So you, you don't see my eyes looks terrible. Anyways, standard legacy historic. No modern. Shocker. One of the things I asked for, there were three options. I wanted uh, the what I thought was going to happen. The mistake was them banning Luris just because outcry. Second one was no changes which I thought more than likely is going to happen. And then my home run dream that I wanted was an errata to companions, which did not happen, which would be, they would pretty much never do because it admits they're wrong. It makes them look bad, even though it's the right thing to do. They'd, I, I believe they would rather just ban all companions first before actually eradicating them. Because it also affects weird stuff like EDH as well. And holy smokers. <laughs> I'm so blind, sorry. So, I know a lot of people are mad that Luris didn't get the axe, or Monkey didn't get the axe, it got the axe in Legacy, but the format is balanced at the moment. I think it's boring and stale, but it is balanced. Any deck can win, but a soft rotation has been created with all this, as someone told me. The soft rotation being, you play the new cards, you don't play at all. These new packs come out, these MH3, MH4... And they're going to shift modern. They're going to force you to buy them. They're going to force you to have to change decks, upgrade your decks for a couple hundred bucks, adding in these broken cards. Because Wizard needs to sell packs, so what are they going to do? They're going to create stronger, stronger cards that forces you to play them, essentially. So even though it's an eternal fo eternal format where your decks don't rotate out and things are legal, it doesn't mean you're going to be able to compete. And before that was a little more true. You used to have like your dinky decks that would last forever. And now it's like, no, you get to play the new 2019 forward cards and you're going to play a lot of them or you're going to get power creeped out. So that's one thing I'm not liking and can't really change that with how fire has changed the way that they're developing the game. But as far as the announcement, I think it was the right call. No changes. I'm okay with it. I know a lot of people wanted to axe Luris, but the issue is you axe Luris, you have to axe other companions. It creates a huge imbalance in the format. A lot of people wanted Mistress Bauble, but that also Fs up the format as well. You need Unholy Heat, you need a uh, DRC to be good. If you if you take away that, just to nerf Luris, it creates an imbalance in the format. Four colors aren't really strong, it just gets better. Your, your Unholy Heat getting worse is not good for the format overall. You need that removal spell. It's oddly keeping the format in check a lot. You lose around, you lose out on your mid-range aggro decks. Uh, and you're stuck with these a huge mid-game spike. Because what I mean, a huge mid-game uh, such as Jorion, where they just get so much better because the mid-range aggro deck going a little bit underneath them gets a huge, huge nerf. So that's where I think, where with this, I'm okay with that. Very good announcement. I want to make a one quick announcement. I'm going to be splitting my channel into three channels. Uh, the one being a main channel for Magic where I do this. I talk about Magic. Maybe I'll do a daily thing. Uh, I do top tens. I talk about different news that goes on and have it be more pretty much non-gameplay based. And which leads to the second channel, which is going to be just a league dump. Where it'll be like little to no editing. I'll make a thumbnail and just upload every league we do. So it should be spammed with like many, 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 many leagues. Way more than it is now. That way you can just put it up, uh, leave it. And that way if you're uh, subscribed to this channel, you're not getting spammed with five leagues a day. That I always felt bad uploading a ton of leagues because then it just would ruin, I don't know, people coming for this. And they just get like six decks they don't want to see so i'm gonna be splitting those two up and third one is probably going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh channel where i just do anything with it but that's i'm separating magic from Yu-Gi-Oh. for now with a new client that came out it's extremely good very good free-to-play model i recommend anyone to go out and try it i'm just gonna fit around with that i think it's a nice balance for me personally because it creates a break for magic because you know doing the same thing over and over again kind of kind of starts getting to you like yama killer quit because because that was all we did. It's it's rough. Even Doomwake, what well, Doomwake took a break and he's working now, so he's much happier playing less. Because it's hard. It's hard to do ten hours a day of magic, especially with the modern format. It's it's very repetitive. Doesn't mean it's bad, but I think modern's in a phenomenal spot if you're playing once a week. If you're a grinder, it sucks. 
but for the average the vast majority of people it's it's great for them so let me know what you think about the the bannings where they went wrong what should have been happened leave a, leave a follow subscribe i will see you guys next time and hope you have a wonderful day